Sister Janita, uh, we just have to be careful. She said, what if you don't repent right then? Uh, the rapture of the church is just like that. That's not the second coming of Jesus Christ. That's the rapture of the church. Everybody won't see him at that point. Only the church will see him. They'll meet the Lord in the air. The Bible says, so shall we build him forever. The second coming is, he's coming back to set up his, his kingdom on earth. But the rapture of the church, that's when he's just coming back for the, for, for, for the church. Everybody won't see him at that time. The church will. And, it will on. and so again, uh, a pastor may have some other scriptures, but again, I just think we have to be careful with how we handle everything. Conversation, the Bible says, uh, be ye holy in all manner of conversation. That word conversation is not limited to what we say. It also includes what we do. Your conduct. It needs to be holy at all times. Ezekiel the 18th chapter. And the 24th verse. Ezekiel the 18th chapter. And the 24th verse. And it's an excellent question. Um... Ezekiel 18 to 24, it's an excellent question, Sister Janita, because you know there are many people that say, you know, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll do this and I'll, you know, I'll repent for it later. Later may not come. Because what people need to know is you don't know what the, you don't know what the next minute holds, much less the next day or the next week or the next month. Because some people, you know, they think what they want to do Monday through Saturday. And they say, well, I'll just go to church, I'll get in the prayer line, and I'll repent then. What if you die on Thursday? You don't make it to church. Or what if you die on your way to church on Sunday? You don't make it to the prayer line. What you need to know is you, when you, when the Holy Ghost convicts you and lets you know that you've done something wrong, you better not be waiting to get to church to repent. You better, you better get to repent right then. Because you may not. You may not make it to church. Ezekiel, the 18th chapter, the 24th verse. Ah, look at what it says. But when the righteous, here's some pages, Ezekiel, the 18th chapter, verses 24 through 26. We have it say amen. Amen. Ezekiel 18 and 24 says, But when the righteous turneth away from his righteousness and committeth iniquity and doeth according to all the abominations that the wicked man doeth, shall he live? <clears throat> all his righteousness that he hath done shall not be mentioned. In his trespass that he hath trespassed and in his sin that he hath sinned, in them shall he die. Stop right there. I'll give you an example. We talked about it last time. You could have been saved in Holy Ghost field for 50 years of your life. But it takes 50 years and one day you decided you're going to do something foolish. And you die filthy or unjust. The 50 years of you being saved, that don't matter. That's what the Word of God said. They won't even be mentioned. So you labored in the vineyard for 50 long years. And you think at least I'll get an exemption. No. Because God is not a respecter of persons. He loves us so much that he will not go against his word. He loves us so much that he will not go against his word for any of us. Why? Because think about it. Think about it. On your job, you know you work hard. You work twice as hard as the person next to you. You way better than them. You never lay. You don't keep a mess on the job. And the boss knows what they do. But they get the same raise you got. How do you feel? How do you feel? Just be real about it. It don't make you feel good. It's disgusting. You mean tell me I'm up for a promotion and they're up for the same promotion? They always leave. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Think about it.
about for the college students here? <laughs> you are a, you don't ever miss class. You're never late. You always study. <coughs> and you got a relationship with the professor. You ace every exam. But there's some dude that don't ever show up to class. Mm -hmm. Always late. Even miss exams. He ain't even got a book. <laughs> <laughs> But he got the same grade that you got? How, do you make, how does that make you feel? God is not a respecter of persons. And so, he's not, he's not going to exempt us when we do stupid stuff. He's not going to do it. we got to be holy. Verse number 25. Yet ye say, the way of the Lord is not... Uh, boy, the Lord is awesome. The way of the Lord is not equal. Hear now, O house of Israel, is not my way equal? Are not your ways unequal? When a righteous man turneth away from his righteousness and committeth iniquity and dieth in them, for his iniquity that he hath done shall he die. It's the iniquity, it's the iniquity, the reason for the death. It's the iniquity. You know that phrase, 99 and a half won't do? Oh, it's true, y'all. Give me a time, I got a 99 and a half. And I still can't get in. It's that one half of iniquity in your life that creates a spot, creates a blemish. The word of God says he's coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle. Without spot or wrinkle. Without spot or wrinkle. This is not the time to not be saved. Now is not the time to not be saved. You might say, well, I'll do it tomorrow. You may not see tomorrow. You may say, I'll, I'll do it when I get out of my, 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 my teen year, or when I get out of my 20s so I can do some playing and, and I can live my life. I'll do it when I get into my 30s. Or when I graduate college, or whatever it is, now is not the time to not be saved. 